what you find around the country is that religious studies classes are filling up beyond the expectation of different universities. Religion is a topic everybody wants to know about. As I say, usually in the beginning of class, people are afraid of Islam, they're suspicious of Judaism, they're antagonists of Christianity, and they think Buddhism can do no wrong. And they, and they idealize, they romanticize indigenous traditions. That's generally how people come into the class. I've made worldviews a class on not just understanding uh, religious communities, but also how religious communities uh, frame ethical positions on social issues. They create their own dramatic case study, and the point here is for them to learn how to create a problem that doesn't have a really a cliched, easy answer. And then each person in the, in the group chooses a different religious perspective around that case. As far as Islam goes, um, sex before marriage is strictly prohibited in Islam. Many poor women are forced to undergo uh, clandestine and illegal abortions, which results in the death of three women a day. As a Hindu, we basically have um, goals that we strive for throughout our lives. What do you think Lucinda should do? Should she stay quiet or should she speak up and risk losing her job? There is no monolithic religious position on any issue. That even inside the traditions, there are a variety of different responses to any issue. For more than two decades, the Shoshone and Paiute peoples, scientists, environmentalists, the federal government, Nevada citizens, and politicians have wrestled over the fate of Yucca Mountain. I'm actively trying to stop the disposal of nuclear waste on the Yucca Mountain site. I believe nuclear power is the future for the USA. <laughs> I keep a positive image of nuclear energy program alive. I believe in America and I trust the government. I really want people to express their position and have freedom to do that. And I believe me, it happens, yeah. Probably the most profound experience is when we go to the Seaside Mosque. It just breaks open, first of all, their projections onto Islam and then their experience of being the stranger in another tradition. You've been given a little bit more information to investigate what might be the other ways to understand the tradition. And that you approach religions with a little bit more tolerance than you may have begun with. If it helps people be interested and willing to learn more about traditions and be more sympathetic and less fearful, then I think I've accomplished my task. Mm -hmm.